We'll be going over the top Marvel Comics release this week. Amazing Spider-Man 11 begins part 3 of Spider-Verse as Superior Spider-Man tries to control the team of Spider-Man from Peter Parker. Superior Spider-Man believes he is the one true Spider-Man from the timeline, not realizing Peter Parker is from the future. Peter tricks Superior Spider-Man and surrenders himself to be killed. Superior Spider-Man hesitates, believing he will erase himself from the timeline, giving Peter enough time to knock him out. Meanwhile, the leader of the Inheritor, Solus, arrives to feed on the Spider-Man and get the other, the Bride, the Scion, which together have the ability to stop them. The issue ends as the Scion is captured, who is revealed to be Benjamin Parker, the brother of Mady Parker. Avengers and X-Men Axis 7 begins the third act as the new Dark Avengers assembled by Steve Rogers stop the X-Men from releasing the Gene Bond. Meanwhile, the Scarlet Witch takes on Magneto, Quicksilver, and Doctor Doom. We discover during the attack that the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are not the children of Magneto. The new Captain America and his Avengers discuss how to stop Steve Rogers, who is searching for the Red Skull, and the X-Men in New York. Apocalypse decapitates Deadpool as the Gene Bomb is about to go off. Thor 3 begins as we understand why the Frost Giants invade Earth and target Roxon Island. They are searching for the lost skull of their king, which was unearthed by Roxon. Malekith encourages the invasion of Earth as Odin's son has lost his hammer. Malachi deals with the CEO of Roxon, who happens to be a minotaur, as the new Thor deals with the frost giants. She destroys the lost skull as Malachi threatens war, just as the original Thor arrives to reclaim his hammer. That's it for this week for Marvel Comics. For Malaysian and Singapore comic fans, you can pick up a copy at Devil Comics Entertainment.